basic transparency you're using an opacity map so that is a separate image to define transparency of our material so again we're going to assume that our object is UV mapped appropriately and it has a material assigned already note the reorganization because we're in blender 4.x and we want to be in settings so click on that scroll down make sure blend mode is set appropriately so alpha clip alpha hashed or alpha blend next step shading workspace and we can see already that we do have some transparency because we have our settings set our blend mode set so to our basic principled bsdf and the material output we want to add a standard texture image texture node texture image texture drop that into place load in our image browse to select open link that color output base color input so that is our basic image so that's the diffuse and then for the opacity map we need to drop in add texture image texture another image texture node drop that in and in this one we want to open and load in the opacity map the separate image that's going to define our transparency so this does not carry any alpha channel data it is just a gray scale or black and white image so select open and then what we want to do with this is link color output to alpha input and that instantly turns our material into a transparent material based on the grayscale values that are present in our opacity map so that's our diffuse and then the opacity map diffuse linked to base color opacity map linked to alpha and of course we make sure that we have our blend mode set and that is basic transparency using a separate opacity map